Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here from Microsurvey and today I'm going to go over the process of using the photogrammetry data generated in the field using Leica Captivate and a GS18i receiver to create a point cloud that can be imported into Microsurvey CAD. So to have access to Microsurvey CAD point cloud tools, you are going to need to have an Ultimate or a Studio license. So the Leica GS18i GPS receiver has a camera in the unit that captures images as you walk along your site. The benefits that this technology provides to users is huge. Users are now able to derive additional information from the data without spending more time in the field. Some data that they may have not been able to capture in the field using traditional methods such as shots close to a building or under an overhang are now accessible back in the office. And the photogrammetry data also allows users an avenue to avoid repeat visits to site to collect additional information after the initial survey. And if you're someone who works in the office, this data is going to help you visualize what the field surveyors saw on site from your seat in the office, making your job that much easier. So here is the field data set from the GS18i opened up in Leica Infinity. So I'm going to do an LGS format export in this video. There are import options for other file formats that do not require an Infinity license, but to do an LGS import, which is the easiest and highest performing, you are going to need to have a license of Infinity. Okay, so here is the data from the field. Uh, just so you guys know, there was an additional point created um, before we got to this point in the process um, using the imagery in Infinity. Um, okay, so going on to the next stage. In order to bring this data into Microsurvey CAD, we're going to need to convert the imagery into a point cloud. Um, so how the Infinity software does that is it will combine all of the image groups and create a dense point cloud. So in order to do this, first we're going to turn on all of the image groups collected. Um, we're going to switch over to Inspector, Image Groups, and then we're going to create a new image group consisting of all images. I'm going to call it Image Group 6 and Apply. Now what I'm going to do is merge all of these image groups into Image Group 6. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Dense Point Cloud. So while the program is working away, you can see its progress here as it works on generating the point cloud. So we are close to finished here. And now we've got a point cloud in the upper group. So now I'm going to right click and store this point cloud in my project. So back in view, we can see the point cloud alongside the conventional measurements. Okay, so now that we've created the point cloud, uh, we can export this information so we're able to bring it into Microsurvey CAD and do some CAD drafting. So once the data is brought into Microsurvey CAD, we can capture visual details from the point cloud and perform some three-dimensional drafting and measurements. So I'll go to export, export all, so the first thing to do is to export the points, observations, and line work to a DBX file. I'll save that to the exported data file of the project and export. Next, we're going to export the point cloud. So I just click on the point cloud, go to export and export selection. There are a variety of different point cloud formats, but as I said, we're looking at the LGS format today. Export to exported data folder, and it takes a few minutes to process. Once that is complete, you can close Infinity and open Microsurvey CAD. So here I've created a new drawing and I'm going to import the two data sets generated in Infinity. So from the Traverse ribbon, I'm going to click on Import DBX. I'm going to browse to the proper folder and select the DBX file and import. And here's the points and the line work into the drawing. Now I'm going to import the LGS file. You can see it comes in right on top of the conventional data. Now you're able to do some drafting right on the point cloud. And the benefit of doing this in Microsurvey CAD is that you can do your feature extraction directly in your CAD program. 
So my next video is going to be a showcase of some of the available point cloud tools in Microsurvey CAD Ultimate and Studio. So please stay tuned. And thank you so much for your interest in this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more of our helpful videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day.